Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas for day two of exclusive coverage. This is Splunk Conference, Dot Conference 2013, the Splunk User Conference. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We're here with Grant Willard, founder of Jewelbug. Um, Jewelbug makes a mobile app to help people uh, conserve and save and be sustainable in an environment friendly way, right? Exactly. Get that right? Welcome to theCUBE. Exactly, thanks a bunch, it's good to be here. You know, Dave and I are always talking about you know, cloud mobile and social. Mobile revolutions changed the game on, on the industry. Um, talk a little bit about what Jewelbug's doing and love the name Jewel, Jewelbug, obviously Jewel uh, relating to the power and, and uh, energy, but also Bug because you know, Splunk, what, you know, Bug Sense. Exactly. So not to be confused with Bug Sense, <laughs> Jewelbug is uh, a different app, explain it. Thanks John, so we, we have an app that inspires, rewards, and motivates people to act more sustainably. So we've divided the world into literally hundreds of sustainable actions. We've made badges out of those and we uh, encourage people to earn badges by doing something sustainable. It begins in the morning when you can take a shorter shower, use a reusable mug, um, alternative ways to get to work. Uh, then when you're at work, um, eating sustainably, uh, turning the lights off in the conference room. Then when you get home at night, uh, making certain that thermostat gets turned down at night. So literally hundreds of, of everyday real world sustainable actions that we reward people in the app for, uh, for doing good. A lot of hot products out there like Nest uh, and other you know, mobile devices that are becoming now lifestyle oriented. It used to be like utility based things. So has that trend also helped you guys out and what are you seeing uh, in terms of uptake for some of your users. So, so Nest is a great example. Uh, Nest is doing a whole lot of good things toward automating uh, sustainable action, but at the end of the day, there's somebody that has to set that temperature on the Nest, on the Nest device. You know, what it, do you set it at 72 or do you set it at 68? So what we do is encourage people to actually think about how, what temperature do they need to have uh, their home in the summer. So if you're, you're, if you're in the south from where I'm from, um, why do you need it to be 68 and wearing a sweater in the, in the summer? So bump it up to 72 and, and wear shorts and short sleeves. So what we do is we approach it from the behavioral standpoint, encouraging people to act sustainably. Uh, sure, you're going to save a little bit of money, that's, that's one of the aspects of it, but really what, what we're trying to do is get friends to encourage friends to do, to do good things. Every one of us acts sustainably every day. Um, but we do it for all different reasons. You know, I'm, I'm the thermostat czar in my house. I do it because we like to save money. Um, give it, on any given Saturday, if the sun's out and the wind's blowing, my wife's going to hang the sheets out because she likes the way they feel. My son never met a thrift store that he didn't like. He likes the look. We all, act, we all do sustainable actions for different reasons and they're all good. What we like to do is make those sustainable actions into sustainable moments. We like to think of them as like a Kodak moment, where you actually take a picture of something interesting, fun, put it on, put it on our feed, and then actually like, you know, we see that people like it, moves up the leaderboard. So it's a, it's a way of socially sharing sustainable actions and getting the crowd involved. You know, we were, we were talking a lot about Splunk, and people use it for cost savings reasons, some reactive reasons on log files, exhaust laying around, the data laying around. Uh, but this is a good example of, you know, using data to create a user experience. Um, so talk about some of the gamification things that you do to make the app work. I and mean, obviously you must be using data uh, to do that. So explain the data-driven mindset for your, for your product company. So what we're doing is, is anytime you do something sustainable, we're going to give you points. You earn points, you get badges, badges get pins. So there's this, this entire leveling up or, or this entire gamification level, layer that we've implemented into the app. And that's then what provides us a, a large amount of the data that we're collecting on the back end that then allows us to help sustainability-minded leaders to understand what's happening in their communities. Talk about some of the examples that you guys had uh, success stories for the folks out there. So, so what we've, we have a, we have a free app. Um, that's, that's how we actually interface with, with individuals. Um, but that's really not what the business is, is, is oriented around. The business is whenever we're, whenever we're in a community, such as if, if we're at a conference, we're in a community, somebody else is paying for the lights, somebody else is paying for the air conditioning. Uh, if we're at a university, kids, kids, have never, the kids have never had a control of the lights, never had to pay the light bill. Somebody else is paying their light bill. When we're at work, conference rooms, monitors, somebody else is paying the light bill. So what we do is we take jewel bug and we provide it to community leaders, and that can be um, anybody at a company, anybody at a conference, anybody at a university that wants to lower their resource spend. So what we're doing is providing them levers to motivate their citizens, their students, their employees to act more sustainable. 
when they act more sustainably when they're at work, at school, or on the go, somebody's going to save some money. And what we do is sell that as a subscription service. So what we're doing is we're taking all of this user data that we're gathering as people are using mobile devices, telling people that they're saving money, telling people what they're doing. We aggregate that into Splunk, index it, and then provide it back to community leaders in the form of a dashboard. So that's, that's how you're using Splunk. So you got a dashboard. Is that for your customers or for the users or both? That's for the customers. The, the users only see the app. They, they see the rewards, they see the pins, the badges, they see other people sharing, they see the pictures. So they're seeing the fun stuff. At the back end, whenever somebody, caps, whenever somebody is using the app, they're telling us that they're, what they're doing, that they're, they're a reusable mug, they set the thermostat lower, um, whatever they're doing sustainably, we capture that, we capture the location, and we capture the time. And if they share a picture, and if that picture gets liked, and if that picture gets comments, we have all that information that then we're aggregating and providing that to a sustainability director of a city, of a university, of a company. Somebody that's wanting to lower the resource spend is how we provide that information back to the community leader. So an organization will, will implement Jewelbug across its user base, have some fun with it, you know, track it, put up a leaderboard, right, and see the results? So every community, we, we, allow, we allow them to have what we call custom content. So imagine that it's um, one of the newest to come on board is Texas A&M. So the Aggies have their own special badge and they promote the things that they want to, that are important to them on their campus. Um, so they have their special badge and then we give them the ability to conduct contests. So they can have dorms competing against dorms and they can get, run a uh, contest on the dorm that saves the most money gets a pizza party. So they, they have their own ability to have custom content and their own custom uh, contest, and then we give them the analytics of what's happening in the background. And that's the SaaS, that's the software as a service subscription. Exactly. Exactly. So I was going to ask you, can I team up, can, does Jewelbug let me create teams, and it sounds like yes. We, we have a, a very sophisticated console that we provide a community, allows them to customize the content, allows them to conduct contests, um, how, and see they, how and where they see fit. So, at a university, which is really a small city, they have, it is a aggregation of students and then it is a business with employees that are acting just like uh, the faculty and staff are using resources just as normal employees do. So they divide that campus into two halves, the faculty staff half and the student half. And they can have contests and they can, uh, they can orient the students to do one thing, they can orient the faculty to do another. And so they, can do, they have a lot of levers that they can used to control or affect or encourage behavior from their different communities. Okay, and, the bottom, and, and for them the ROI is they're going to have bottom line savings, going to just cut, cut their costs, the, right? The bottom line is that they're going to get their employees or their students to have fun saving money, taking shorter showers and uh, turning off the lights and, and turning off the game controllers. And it's the honor system, right? It is the honor system. Which is, yeah. okay, that's yeah. cool, nothing wrong with that. It's like golf, right? It's exactly, golf. exactly. Right. Get a couple of mulligans. <laughs> and, yeah. and so, um, and so you don't have, um, is, is that the only current monetization vector? Are you, are you partnering with brands as well? Is there an advertising component to this or have you stayed there, away from that? There, there's, a, there's a future advertising component, but it, is a certain, it, it requires you to have a certain size, which we're not quite there yet. But once we get to that size, there's a lot of opportunity for, for brands to promote products. You know, like, you know Nest, Nest is a very good example, um, LED light bulbs, Another yeah, you example. can't start there because of the chicken and egg problem. Now, so so where so where are you guys at in the company? Maybe you know he headcount, funding. Let me talk about that a little bit. So we're angel funded. Um, been in business a couple years, roughly a dozen people, um, mostly bootstrapping. We should be profitable early next quarter. And you're awesome. a premium model, so you get the app for free, but you charge for the dashboard. Exactly, right? and it's you provide the Splunk services. Uh, uh, technology through the dashboards. So it's, it's, it's a freemium model, you can, you, know, you, can, you can claim a community, but then the more customization you want, the more contests you want, the more analytics you want, the more you're going to pay. Got it, okay, great. Um, just on the horizon, how do you see the landscape? Obviously you've been a founder, a startup, uh, you know, entrepreneur, um, everything about sustainability has got some good vibe to it. What, what do you think we're doing right in, in, in our country and what do you need to do better? in your opinion, around, around sustainable energy and just in general? Now you get into the tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, what we're, what we're wanting Not everyone to, can afford a Tesla. It, exactly, <laughs> exactly. What we're, as I said earlier, we believe that everybody does sustainable actions. What we're, we're trying to stay below some of the, um, 
the political rhetoric that, that surrounds this. And there's, there, there are a lot of people that spin this a lot of different ways. Um, we, we want to be agnostic and just let everybody see what others are doing. And the more people see what people are doing good, we, the more good we see that will happen. So we're trying to stay below that uh, spin radar and really looking at it from, a, from an agnostic. Let's just share what people are doing, make it fun, sexy to promote. Jewelbug.com, go download it. Uh, it's available on the mobile phone. Uh, uh, service on the back end for customers. Great for universities, great for large uh, organizations. Uh, check it out. Grant Willard, thanks so much for coming on the Cube. Really appreciate it. This is the Cube. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break, live from day two, SplunkConference.Conference 2013. This is the Cube. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back.